Welcome to AWS What's New. I'm Jeff Barr. I've got three awesome launches to share with you today. First up, we launched a preview of Lambda extensions. This one's really cool. The extension model makes it easy for monitoring, observability, and governance tools to work within the Lambda execution environment. These extensions use the new Extensions API to register. The extensions then get access to lifecycle events, along with greater control of what happens during the initialization, invocation, and shutdown of the Lambda functions. So you can use pre-built extensions from the Lambda Ready partners. These are AppDynamics, Checkpoint, Datadog, Dynatrace, Epsigon, HashiCorp, Lumigo, New Relic, Thundra, and Splunk. You can also build your own extensions. These are also Lambda functions. And I really look forward to seeing what you come up with. The extensions can run either as part of the same process that's executing the Lambda function, or they can run in a separate process within the same execution environment. My colleague Julian Woods wrote a pair of great blog posts to show you how to use and build these extensions. Julian also linked to a rather cool one built by the clever devs at Square. The Lambda Secrets Prefetch extension does exactly that. It pulls a configurable set of secrets from AWS Secrets Manager, stores them in slash temp. Again, I think this is really cool, super powerful. Check it out. Let me know what you think. OK, so next up, Amazon ElastiCache for Redis now supports version 6 of Redis. With Redis 6, you get better performance. There's a new protocol that meshes more easily with client libraries. And there's also access control lists, or ACLs. The ACLs control the commands and the keys that each user can access. Amazon ElastiCache for Redis builds on these ACLs, and you get managed role-based access control. There's also efficient client-side caching and some other improvements that are going to make your applications both more reliable and more available. And finally, this news came in just as I was preparing to record. ElastiCache now supports the Graviton 2-based M6G and Arc6G instances. To learn more, you can read Chani's blog post. All right, and finally, one more cool preview for you. CloudWatch Lambda Insights gives you more information about the performance of your Lambda functions. You can learn more about compute usage, memory allocation, and function duration over time. And you can easily watch multiple functions from one dashboard. The insights also work hand in glove with both CloudWatch Log Insights and CloudWatch Service Lens. So you have some great tools to help you build even better applications. Please check it out. Let me know what you think. To learn more, you can read the what's new. All right, that's all for today. As always, we look forward to your feedback. Send us an email, a tweet, leave a comment below. If you'd like to see some more videos just like this, you can subscribe to our channel, click the bell for some notifications. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.